Hello, in this Dart programming video, I am going to show you logical operators. So logical operators are used to combine two or more conditions to see if the overall thing is true. So for example, imagine this. If I'm going to the store and somebody says to me, let's say my friend Bob, I actually have a friend Bob, no, but let's just say I do have a friend Bob. Bob says to me, if they have milk and if they have eggs, get both of them. But that's only on the condition that they have both of them. But if they, if you say if they have you know milk or they have eggs, just get either one of them. So it's that sort of principle. So if I create a couple of numbers, so num one equals ten, int num two equals five, and the first logical operator I'm going to cover is the and operator. So and and this literally just in a two ampersands so if i do print and i do num1 let's say let's say if i'm saying is num1 greater than num2 but i also want num1 to be less than maybe 20 for example and only then will all of this evaluate to true so if i run it we get true but if i was to change this to 100 look what we get get false because yes num1 is greater than num2 so this is you know essentially the same thing as writing true here then it says is num1 less than 20 100 is not less than 20 so it's the same thing as writing false here and for all of this to evaluate to true both sides need to be true which they aren't so it all you know evaluates to false that's basically how it works behind the scenes and you can combine as many of these as you want. Obviously, you, you will need to have some sort of condition. So if it's like five equal to seven, for example, five is not equal to seven. So this alone will make the entire thing false. The next operator that I want to cover is the OR operator. And this uses the two vertical pipes and all it says is it only requires one of these to equate to true and then the entire thing will result in true. As you can see, we get false for the first one, but because this results in true, it doesn't need the second one to result in true. But if they both result in false for both of these, then it'll be false in general. The last one is the not operator. So, the not operator and this is merely an exclamation mark and this just you know reverses whatever the result is so if the result is true you'll make it false if the result is false you'll make it true so if i do print and what i'm going to do is put another sub brackets in here i'm going to do the condition so if i do num1 greater than num2 num1 100 is greater than 5, so we get we will get true. But if I put in, you know the exclamation mark here, have a look, we get false because it reverses whatever result this is. And inside these brackets, we could combine, you know, we could have the and operator, we could have the or operator, we could do a bunch of combinations, and you can do that with brackets. As an extra task, that's what I want you to do is you know use brackets and combine the and, the or, and the not operator on some simple examples. But if you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.